Okay, so to do an NG tube um, on a patient, the first thing I'm gonna do is check and verify the orders um, that there is an NG tube ordered. I'm gonna verify the uh, type of tube, the size of tube, um, everything I'll need. I'm going to review the medical history. I'm going to uh, check the medical history to make sure that there's no um, nasal problems, deviated septum, history of nosebleeds. Um, also want to determine if there's any uh, coagulation therapy um, or issues there. I'm going to gather all my supplies and I'm going to go um, to the patient's room. I will then um, do hand hygiene when I walk in and the first thing I'm going to do after I knocked um, is pull the curtains to provide privacy for the patient. I'm going to uh, identify the patient using two identifiers which would be their uh, name and date of birth. Uh, once I uh, um, verify who the patient is, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to ask them if they have any questions um, before we start. And if they're all good to go, I'm going to first um, assess their cough and their gag reflex. Um, with their cough, for to test their cough, I'm going to give them a napkin, um, have them cough into the napkin. And with a gag reflex, um, I'm going to uh, get a tongue depressor and a... Um, and a flashlight. Um, then at that point, I'm going to uh, raise the bed to the high Fowler's position. Um, if the patient is um, comatose, it would be a semi Fowler's position, um, but be sure that uh, the patient's comfortable. Um, before you start, you want to assess their vitals. You want to put a pulse ox um, on and um, get all the vitals that way. Um, you want to first occlude each nostril on the patient and you are determining which um, nair is more patent um, and you are going to insert your NG tube, um, your NG tube into the pair that, into the nair that is uh, most patent. Um, the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to uh, tear my tape off now uh, so I don't have to do it with gloves on later. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take my tube out of the bag and what you want to do is uh, measure the tube of um, you want to determine the length of um, from the nostril to the earlobe so I'm going to do this side so you're going to measure from here to here and then you want to measure from the ear down to the xiphoid process which um, we can't do here so uh, because obviously it's simulation so at this point I would um, sorry I would um, mark on the tube with indelible ink or a piece of tape um, where you want to where you would uh, stop it at oh my gosh of course this won't come off So at this point, I'm going to um, get my syringe out, and this comes with um, this jar, and you want to uh, have water filled in this jar because you're going to um, take the syringe and fill it with 10 milliliters of water. Okay. All right. This time we're going to put on clean gloves. So with the syringe that you just filled um, with water, you're going to um, put it in this. Let me take the lid off, sorry. Um, you're going to put it in this and you're going to push the 10 milliliters of water through the tube and you're gonna have this end and um, over a trash receptacle or a um, whatever you want to empty it into, uh, just to be sure that the water comes out and that the uh, there's no kinks or tubing or kinks or um, anything uh, obstructing the the tube itself inside. Put that back in there. All right. So at this time, I have um, my tray here. I'm going to put um, some lubrication on the table and at this point I would um, put the tube 
would loop, put lubrication on the tip of the tube about uh, four centimeters. All right, and I'm gonna tell the patient that um, we're about to begin. Um, and I want them to know that if at any time um, they get um, uncomfortable or they feel like they're gonna gag, um, that they can raise their hand to tell me to stop in the middle of it because um, you do want them to be comfortable. So at this point, you're going to, um, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. I'm going to have another nurse um, or a UAP with me um, helping me because you want to have your patient um, drinking water at the same time. Um, this helps with the insertion. Um, if they cannot uh, drink water, or if they were NPO, you would not give them water. Um, so this is really only if your patient's not on NPO status. Um, so I'm gonna put this in, and as you're inserting it slowly, um, you want to um, push it back and down towards the ear. Obviously, because this simulation, you can't put it all the way in, um, but we're going to pretend. I would not have my hand on the patient's head like that. Um, so at this time, you want to um, insert it about 30 centimeters, and you do want to um, listen for air coming in or through because if it's if you can hear air, um, you're not in their esophagus, you're probably in their trachea. Um, and at that point, you would pull it out and um, start all over again. Um, so at this time, once you have your um, your NG tube in, you want to um, get your tape, get my tape that I got earlier and uh, have the other nurse that's helping you or the UAP hold it still so that you can tape, tape it um, to the patient's nose. Um, at that point, you also want to... Um, And this just holds it in place until you can put the real tape on it. All right, so at that time, um, you want to get your um, syringe and you want to aspirate um, gastric juices or stomach content. And we don't have um, pH strips in the kit, but you would test the pH of the contents to make sure that you're in the right location. would not hit my patient oh my gosh um so at this time you want to mark with the same marker you want to I'm so sorry I would not do that I'm working in a small area <laughs> sorry you want to mark on the tube where the exit point is um to make sure uh for future reference if it slips or um comes out at all you know where to stop so um I'm going to put now some um, adhesive sticky um, uh, stuff on the nose that you're gonna put the real tape on, which um, helps keep the, the tape better in place to uh, keep the tube from falling out or slipping. So this time I'm gonna take my gloves off, put these in the appropriate receptacle. Now I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to get about 10 centimeters of tape. And you do want to rip it about uh, halfway down the middle like this. So I'm going to put this here. And at this time, I'm going to carefully remove the other tape, avoiding pulling the tube out while you're doing it. This is why you should have someone helping you. So at this time, you want to take each side of the tape and just carefully wrap it around. My taping skills are not the best. This takes practice. All right. Okay, so we've got our tape on there good. Okay, so at this time, once the tape is on there and um, you feel comfortable with where it is, um, your patient's good, you want to send your um, patient down to x-ray to uh, verify placement. That's the only way that you can know that it is um, definitely um, where it's supposed to be. 
Um, when you come back, you do want to put um, another set of gloves on. I only have one pair, so this would be me, um, if this was not simulation, putting on a pair of gloves. Um, you do want to do oral care at this time. Um, you want to get mild soap and water. Uh, you want to wipe around their mouth, their face, um, their nose. Uh, just make sure they're all clean. Uh, you want to gather all your supplies, throw everything away. Um, you're going to ask them if they need anything, if they're comfortable. You want to make sure their call light is um, next to the bed. You want to uh, let them know if they need anything, you can call. If anything gets uncomfortable, um, any kind of pain or anything, just uh, let us know. Uh, when you're when you're all finished with your patient, you want to document um Everything you did, you want to document the centimeters of, of how far it went in. You want to uh, document that you verified placement. You want to document um, how well the patient tolerated uh, the procedure. Um, anything that applies to the NG tube. Um, maybe if the tape, they didn't like the tape or whatever it may be. You just want to make sure you document it all. Um, so at that time, that would be everything to do an NG tube on a patient.